Electrical muscle stimulation, or EMS, comes in and out of popularity every five years or so. Now it's back with celebrities like Kumail Nanjiani swearing by it, and entire fitness programs devoted to it. But does it work? EMS has been used in physical therapy settings for decades to prevent muscle atrophy in injured patients who are immobilized due to, say, a femur fracture. In these situations, electrically stimulating the muscles to contract will preserve muscle better than doing nothing at all. But that doesn't mean it's going to build muscle in an able-bodied person. There's no external resistance or change in muscle length, which means there's little to no mechanical tension, which is the primary contributor to muscle growth. It's even more useless to have these things on while you are training, because the electrically induced contractions don't sync with what is needed to move the weight, making the exercise less effective. It may feel harder, but just because something is hard doesn't mean it's effective. If you want to challenge your muscles in a way that will actually result in improvements in strength and size, focus on load, 